Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca Vanderheiden and I am the Riverbend Egg in the Classroom Coordinator here in Scott County. And today we are going to be learning about seed germination. And we're going to be uh, actually putting together a seed germination necklace. Uh, but before, before we begin our activity, we are going to start off by reading the um, From Kernel to Corn book. And then we will um, have a discussion about what is germination and then we'll make our seed germination necklaces. So let's get started. From Kernel to Corn by Robin Nelson. Corn tastes yummy. How does it grow? A farmer prepares for planting. A farmer drives over a field with a cultivator. This machine has many blades that turn over the dirt. The, bl the blades break up clumps of dirt. Now the field is ready for planting. The farmer plants seeds. A corn seed is called a kernel. The farmer uses a row planter to plant kernels. A row planter is a machine that digs ditches in the field. The row planter puts the kernels in the ditches and covers them with dirt. The seeds change. The water helps seeds grow into plants. The kernels soak up water from the dirt. The kernels swell. A root breaks open from each kernel. Roots grow down into the ground. They take in water and food from the dirt. Tiny plants grow. Sprouts come out of the kernels. A sprout is a young corn plant. It grows up out of the dirt. Sunlight and water help the sprout grow. Corn plants grow tall. Corn grows tall very fast. A stalk is the stem of the corn plant. A stalk can grow five inches or 13 centimeters in just one day. It takes a girl or a boy two years to grow that much. The farmer protects the plants. Hungry bugs may eat the corn. Bugs can also give the corn diseases. Weeds may take up the corn space. Weeds block out the sun too. Some farmers spray their crops to kill the weeds and the bugs. Cobs grow. Cobs grow on the corn stalks. Kernels grow on the cobs. Cobs with kernels are called ears of corn. Leaves cover each ear to protect it. These leaves are called husks. The corn is picked. Some farmers use a machine to pick the corn. Some farmers pick the corn by hand. This worker loads picked corn on a truck. The corn is sold. Many people buy fresh corn from a farmer's market or a grocery store. They take the corn home, take the off the husk, and cook it. Eat the corn. Corn on the cob tastes good with butter, salt, and pepper. It tastes good all by itself. the end. So after reading our book from kernel to corn, I wanted to review a little bit on page nine. So this is where the seed starts to change. And this process right here is called germination. And germination is the process of a plant emerging from the seed and beginning to grow. So germination happens inside a seed. As you can tell, uh, it, the seed starts to swell and this is when it becomes to germinate into the soil because of the water um, and heat that it has been given. So different from our book that we were reading about the kernel to corn, this was kind of focused primarily on sweet corn. 
Now, sweet corn is only the 2% of the corn that we grow here in Iowa, but 98% of the corn that we grow is field corn. And I have um, samples of field corn with me uh, today, and we're gonna be using this for our uh, experiment with our uh, seed germination necklaces, but I also have some soybeans, and this is the other crop in Iowa that we grow primarily as well. Um, these are some soybeans that you could possibly find. Okay, so after showing you the two seeds that we're gonna be using today in our lesson, we are going to begin making our seed germination necklaces. So what you will need is a small plastic bag like this, some yarn that I already cut apart to make it into the necklace, your seeds, and our uh, or beads. So these are uh, basically just beads that uh, hold water and they're pretty. Um, they can make kind of a mess so you have to be careful with them when you're using them because they will fly everywhere. So uh, to begin you're going to take your bag and I'm going to place uh, two soybeans inside like this. Perfect. And then I'm also going to take two corn seeds. So I have uh, two of each of the corn and two soybeans. And then I'm going to take my um, beads, my water beads, and I'm going to place them inside carefully of my small plastic bag. Just like that. And I'm going to uh, zip it shut. And I want to make sure that my seeds are now into the middle or uh, surrounded by the water beads because they need to get the water. And the re reason why uh, this, uh, the seeds will germinate in here is because you have water from the water beads and then also when you're wearing your necklace, it's going to uh, catch the sunlight from outside and then it also needs heat. So when you wear it around your body, your body produces heat and that's gonna warm up the seeds to make them germinate. So now that I have them ready, this is what uh, it should look like. And then you're going to poke a hole through the top part of it. And then place your string, your yarn through the hole like this. And wear it around your neck. So I'm going to tie mine quick. Now that I have made my seed germination necklace, the seeds have the water that they need to germinate along with the sunlight and then the heat that they need to sprout. So this is what it looks like when you're finished with your product, but then I have an example for you that um, I have done a couple days ago. This is about three days ago. And uh, just to remind you, this is what our soybeans looked like when we first began, and now just after three days, you can see that my uh, soybean has uh, started to germinate and it's starting to sprout. You can see um, right there, it's starting to sprout. And uh, I encourage you to take a journal and write down every day what you are observing with your seeds and watch the process of them germinating. I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson and um, learned something about germination and sprouting of the seeds. And I will see you guys next month.